Hello, and welcome to the Information Literacy Lessons at the University Libraries. This lesson is Part 3 on using the Library Catalog Database, OLIF. This lesson covers how to use the Optional Limits section of the Advanced Search page and Boolean connectors to focus your searches. If you have not completed Part 2 of this lesson on the OLIF Advanced Search page, please do so before starting Part 3. Imagine you are working on a speech or a paper topic about marijuana. A logical beginning when you are starting your research is to look first for reference books rather than for articles on your topic. Reference books often provide rich background information when you don't know much about your topic, whereas articles tend to focus on a single and specialized aspect of the topic. Let's begin at the advanced search screen by typing in the keyword marijuana. The main library collection includes more than 140 items that have the word marijuana in their catalog record. Notice the first six entries are located in the reference collection, in the main collection in both print and electronic form, we have DVDs, and also government documents. We can use the collection field in the optional limiters section to find items about marijuana in each of these different collections. For instance, let's enter the keyword marijuana again, and let's open up all collections and select reference. This is now telling the Aleph Catalog Database to return only items that have the word marijuana in the catalog record and are located in the reference collection. And we have three items. We can do the same search again using our keyword marijuana and limit the collection to government documents. And notice we have both U.S. federal and South Dakota state government documents. Selecting federal government documents, we will find that we have approximately 60 plus items in government documents that have the keyword marijuana. We can also do the same search again and limiting it to the uh, LRL multimedia and that will show us any videos we have in marijuana. You need to realize that since our catalog is being updated, some of these entries may have their names changed or may disappear altogether. The important thing to remember is that you can use the collections limiter to help focus your search within specific collections in the university libraries. You can also limit your search by the format of the items such as books, journals, magazines, newspapers, maps, and sound or video recordings. You can select a language or you can use the year from and the year to limiter to set a date range for your search. Another powerful way to manage your searches is through the careful use of the Boolean connectors AND, OR, NOT. These connectors are used to combine search terms in several different ways to either narrow or to broaden your search as needed. One way to identify keywords to use in your search is to draw upon your own background knowledge. Marijuana is often in the news because of its association with medicine and pain management. Doing a search for medicine shows that the university libraries has hundreds, literally thousands of items. In fact, 8,000 plus items is too broad a search, so we can use the Boolean connectors to help narrow this search. Let's use the Boolean connector AND. The Boolean connector AND is the default connector at the ALF catalog database page. The connector AND tells the catalog to search for multiple terms together. The Aleph Catalog Database will return hits only if the item contains all of the search terms joined by the AND operator. This results in a narrowing of your search results. Using the Boolean connector AND to combine marijuana and medicine will result in about eight entries being found. The AND operator is narrowing the search by retrieving only items that have all of the keywords you're looking for. A good rule of thumb for searching is, the more keywords you combine with the AND operator, the narrower your search will become. A search involving too many search terms will retrieve either few hits or none at all. Eliminating one or more search terms will thus broaden your search. The Boolean operator OR will broaden your search by retrieving items that contain any or all of the search terms. This type of search strategy is especially helpful when you're searching a topic that can be described by multiple terms or synonyms. Let's take our keyword marijuana. Some synonyms for marijuana include Mary Jane, pot, or weed. We can use the Boolean operator OR to connect and search for books that have either one or both of these terms. 
And we have approximately 330 items that have either the keyword marijuana or the keyword weed in them. Because we're using the synonym weed, some of the results are about the drug marijuana, and some of the results are about weeds other than hemp. Using the OR operator to broaden your search means you have to sort through the results carefully to find the relevant information. The third Boolean operator, NOT, is useful when you have search terms that have multiple meanings or identify multiple people or multiple things. You can use the Boolean operator NOT to eliminate unwanted terms from your search. Remember, you might lose some relevant information when you use the NOT operator. The word adolescent is associated with many of the entries for marijuana. You can use the NOT operator to call out any records that include the term adolescent. Or we can take advantage of the wildcard search technique covered in part one of this lesson. That's the shift number eight key to put the asterisk at the end of the word. And that will help eliminate either the singular adolescent or the plural form adolescence. And so our search for marijuana, but not adolescent or adolescence, will retrieve approximately 130 plus items. Each record excludes the undesired terms adolescent or adolescence. This lesson has covered using the optional limiters fields to search specific collections within the library catalog and using the Boolean operators and or not to narrow or to broaden your search as needed. Feel free to repeat this lesson as often as you need to. Part four of this lesson will cover identifying and using subject terms to focus your search for information in the Olaf catalog database. Mm -hmm.